I was not raised to be a skeptic. I was not raised to question things. I was, I don't even know how to describe it. I was pretty much told this is how it is and that's it. However, I was not pushed to believe things like religion. I was made to go to church and everyone around me believed that there was God, but nobody really pushed me to believe that there was God. I want my daughter to be a skeptic. And I wonder sometimes if I'm doing her a disservice. I'm wondering if making her skeptic, making her question, making her a critical thinker is going to make it more difficult for her to get along. Because in my family, sometimes it's difficult for me to get along because I don't believe what they believe and they think I'm just being difficult in arguing with them about subjects like God. They think I've got something against God and I don't think that there is a God, so how can I have something against God? But that's something that most people don't seem to be able to understand. I don't think that there's a God. Why would I have a problem with God? I have a problem with people who think that there is a God. Now, I don't necessarily want my daughter to not think that there's a God. I want my daughter to be critical about what she believes. I want her to question what people tell her. I want her to come to her own conclusions about gods because there are so many of them and I'm doing my best to expose her, to introduce her, to educate her on all the different gods and all the different religions and all the different things that people believe. Because I think that's the best way to become a critical thinker, is have exposure to a wide variety of things. I want my child to be a critical thinker. Is that going to be a good thing for her in the long run? Yes. Will it make it difficult for her to get along with some people? Some people. But growing up, I was taken in by some things, like Amway. You ever heard of Amway? Multi-level marketing? I was taken in by that because I was not a critical thinker. It sounded really good. So I'm like, oh, sign me up. And once I was signed up, it's like, oh, this is a sham. <laughs> but had I known beforehand to be able to think that way, I would have avoided getting into it. But being exposed to what Amway was and what a sham was, I was able to get myself out of it and educate myself on avoiding future things of that nature. Like late night infomercials. They sound really good because they sell it really hard. And there's a lot of crap out there. Homeopathy sounds really good by those who are pushing it. But being a critical thinker enables you to avoid the, tr the pitfalls of falling for these things that sound really good but are really just crap. William Lane Craig is a perfect example of something that sounds really good because he is a fantastic debater, but he debates crap. He makes shit up and makes it sound very plausible, but it is garbage. And had I been younger and less experienced, I may have been swayed by the likes of William Lane Craig. I want my daughter to be able to see people like him and the infomercials and Amway for what they really are. These things are shams. And you need to be a critical thinker to see these things for what they are. How do you teach critical thinking? Mostly by exposing them to shams. To show them this is what people are selling. It's crap. And you need to be able to recognize what crap is because they will make it sound like it is the best thing in the entire world. But it's not. Another thing I'm teaching my child is that wanting is better than having. Because quite often, kids are swayed by all this crap they sell on TV. And like, oh, I gotta have that. That's really cool. That's fantastic. I wanna have a gimme, 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 gimme. And when they get it, they lose interest in it right away because they realize it's crap. And then they want the next thing. I'm trying to teach my daughter to want things. It's good to want things, but not give them to her. Because quite often, her friends will get them and she'll say, oh, that's crap. I'm glad I don't have that. <laughs>
Not so much yet, because she's only eight, but these are lessons that she's slowly learning, and I can see that she is learning them. But I want my daughter to be a critical thinker. I want her to be a skeptic. I want her to not fall for the pitfalls of things like religion, because religion is something that sounds really good, but it is crap. A great joke is everybody's religion is like a fart. They all think theirs doesn't stink, but it does. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm Tom, your friendly neighborhood atheist, and I'll catch you next time.